Good morning, YouTube. It's your man, Audrey George Page, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, uh, last night was uh, the UFC's fight night in Abu Dhabi. Uh, it was a fight night number six on the UFC card, and the main event was Brian Ortega versus the Korean Zombie. Um, and on the fight was two flyweight fights for the women, and the first one here is uh, Jalen Robinson versus uh, Pollyanna Patello. Now, there was um, some said that felt like the fight was going to go 50-50 either way. But from what I heard, like I didn't get a chance to see the fight. You know, I'll probably try to catch it someplace later because sometimes YouTube will, somebody have a video showing it. You know, I might try to catch it. And, you know, just um, Jillian was just put out of clinic. I mean, she had a good showing. Um, I know my man BJ uh, Johnson is very happy. I mean, you know, this is one of his girls, you know, and he he's, a, a hog, he's in hog heaven now that she... Beat somebody like uh, uh, Poliana. Um, it's just that at one point she just took it to the ground. That's where her work's at, you know, on the ground. Her striking needs some improvement, you know, as you know, she's, eh, her striking might be just a little bit better than um, Mackenzie Dern, but Mackenzie Dern is working in with Jesse Perillo, who was coaching Cyborg to strike her. Now, what does it say for um, um, Jenny Robinson? Well, you know, just like a two fight winning streak since her. Um, get killed by Mackenzie Dern. Um, there's a good chance she might climb up a little more, but like I listened to P uh, BJ's video and um, BJ man, I'm sorry, but your your girl don't have a chance against some Valentine. She's not a contender. You, you know, you got Jessica Andrade there now. You got Stephen Cavilla. If she, and I don't know if she can even get past, um, you know, Roxanne. Two broke knees him out of ferry, but you know, a brother can dream, can he? But anyway, the fight that was really getting most attention was Kaylin Chikagian versus Jessica Andrade. Now, I didn't want to talk too much about this fight because I didn't want to, you know, I don't really know. I was, in my mind, I felt Chikagian had the advantage. She was taller. She had the reach, you know. Um, Andrade is kind of a sloppy fighter. She's a strong fighter, but she's still sloppy. You know, if, you know her fight against Rose, the first fight. Rose had a piece up. It wasn't for the fact that she slammed Rose on the neck. Jessica won and won. And really, her fight with uh, JJ, she really teared her up. You know, only real fights that she really, really showed weird dominance was against Claudia Gadea, against, uh, when she knocked out uh, KK. And um, I think uh, the one, what was that other one? I forgot. There was another one between before she got a shot for, for Rose, between those two. But, you know, but um, she really, I, I got to see the fight, and it didn't last long. It was a, a first-round KO, and that's a big disappointment. I mean, I was thinking, you know, like I said, like a lot of people said, you know, you know, Chikagin had the height and reach advantage. And being a smaller fighter, you know, because Jessica's barely 5'2", and, and Caitlin's just not even 5'10", she's 5'9", you know. But, you know, as you, as you remember her past, um, Jessica used to fight bigger girls when she used to fight as a as a bantamweight. Now she had a you know some wins, some losses, but she had fought bigger girls. And being a strawweight, she was dominant for a good while until her loss against Wally Zane. But like I said, she just one point she took a takedown in the in the uh, she had at least two takedowns. This is where she had you know um, you know Caitlin carry her like a baby doll, finally like two or three times, and then you know she hits uh, she carry in with a shot in the gut. And she was, ah, and then, you know, she just charged her and then boom, it was over. You know, I know the uh, fanboy simps are going to be mad that their blonde fighter lost. Uh, I, I was already reading some, I was watching some, I was watching one video where I was watching, we were talking about how, oh, wow, yeah, you know, how uh, Caitlin lost to the man. I mean, she, no, Jessica's not a man. She's a tough fighter. I'm not a big fan of Jessica Drive, but she is a tough fighter and she's strong. She's bull strong, but the problem is, that both strong not enough to fight against someone like Valentin Shashinko. You know, she has fought on both strong people just like Liz Carmouche and defeated them. But like I said, this is going to shake up the division. You know, I didn't feel like, um, personally, I didn't feel like um, uh, Jessica Andrade should be fighting like a former number one contender, or number one contender still. You know, she should have fought somebody like maybe um, Cynthia Carvillo should have been her opponent. You know, Carvillo is a former strawweight, and she, you know, they both came from the same division. You know, uh, Murphy, as you know, she's fighting somebody else. I think Murph Murphy and Chichigny should, should fight each other. My man Stemmer MC said, yeah, they fought before, but that was back in Bantamweight. And that was like four years ago. Now it's a different division. 
and I think, you know, a Murphy's number six or seven division, and I think you fight the number one contender, that would give him a shot. But what's next? What's really next? Well, they're either going to wait, they're going to wait either happen between um, uh, Valentina against Jeff Amaya. That's going to be in, a, in about a month or so. And um, then maybe they give a, a fight between Rindraj and Valentina next year. I see about, mm, don't want to wait too soon, maybe about mid to late March, maybe about um, by that time. I think you really want to wait to in tax time. People get their money and they can do sell it, big pay-per-views. You know, a lot of people like this whole pandemic, but a lot of people out of work and I don't know if people going to get too much back on their taxes. But anyway, um, you know, Jessica Andrade had put on a clinic on our opponent that was a former, um, who was, who was number contender, who fought the, for the title, who beat the sister of the champion, and to lose against uh, somebody who you think, well, you, you should have a better chance, a shot at, I mean, that's surprising. But, you know, it, it wasn't that long ago, uh, uh, Caitlyn just got married, and now, you know what she can do now? She can ride off in the sunday, sunset and have her babies. <laughs> You know, I think like she's a she's a young wife now, and she don't want to wait too long and be like a lot of fighters, miss an opportunity of motherhood. So there's a good chance that I think this is gonna be her. We might not see Caitlyn fight next year. Uh, I think uh, it's just she's gonna go ahead and maybe try to uh, pop out a baby or two, you know, and then I think she's just done because she's not gonna ever gonna get another shot as Valentina after getting beat by somebody like Jessica Andrade. Well. Zimmer on the Rage George page. Like, don't like, subscribe, don't subscribe. I'm out.